Good day, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Military and Foreign Affairs Network. I am your host, the Voice of Reason. Today, we are continuing our ongoing coverage of the Civil War in the former state of Ethiopia and the Eritrean invasion of the Tigray region. Well, we have received new reports in of uh, additional uh, airstrikes by the Abi Loyalist Air Force. Uh, this time, uh, the Abi Loyalist Air Force appears to be attacking central Tigray. Uh, they are very much concerned, as, as we have received reports, that the Eritrean general staff is very much concerned about the redeployment of Tigrayan Defense Forces. Tens of thousands of Tigrayan Defense Force fighters are being redeployed into the Tenbian region, into the areas south of the B-30 highway, east and west of the Adwa to Hagir Salam road, this area. Uh, the airstrikes were focused on areas such as Abi Adi and areas to the north of that locale as well. And again, that is over concern of the redeployment of the Tigrayan Defense Forces into the Tenbian region. So why is the Eritrean Army, the Eritrean General Staff, concerned about this redeployment? About, quite literally, the lack of engagement near Adagrat? Adwa, where they were expecting to encounter heavy resistance from the Tigrayan Defense Forces. Well, the reason they are concerned is because they know these forces, which were very sig much significant around Adwa, near Adagrat, will be around to fight another day. They fully understand now that they will have to physically enter the Tenbian region. They will have to go into these mountainous redoubts and fight the Tigrayan Defense Forces in some areas that they have not been largely successful. 2021. Again, I'm rehashing past history because it is relevant in what we are seeing. The Eritrean army attempted to move into the Tembian region in 2021, suffered horrific losses. The Abi Loyalist military army attempted to move west of Mekele, within the vicinity of Hagir Salam, north and south of the Mekele to Adwa road. They also did that at great cost. And eventually, the counterattack, Operation Alula, which liberated Mekele, thousands of Tigrayan fighters came out of these hills and chased the Abi Loyalist army east, capturing thousands and thousands of them. Again, the Eritrean military excels when given a very targeted objective, and we've seen that. Now, maintaining this occupation force along the B-30 highway, while at the same time attempting to enter the Tenbian region, they're going to question that, because they know they, the Eritrean military, the Eritrean general staff, the B loyalist generals, they know this is now going to be a lengthy campaign that they may not be built for. Again, history is repeating itself. So we can confirm that now, that uh, it, it looks like the intention of the Tigrayan Defense Forces is to move into the Tenbian and conduct strategy, conduct operations, conduct war, the same as it was conducted in 2021. You could argue that uh, 
and I've done that several times about the uh, the uh, prospect of defending cities and making it very very costly for the Eatrian military to move into these cities meaning fight in the cities use the cities as defensive redoubts they could have done that meaning they the Tigrayan defense forces so that was one option and it looks like they have chosen the the option that was successful the last time and the uh, we do know that the Tigrayan defense forces have have built the infrastructure in the Tinbian region to conduct said operations. There are command and control facilities that have been built in areas west and around Hagir Salam. And again, if we look at this area, just how mountainous and rugged it is, you can see why it's very difficult for the Eatrian military to enter these areas. But again, uh, reports coming in of airstrikes, drone strikes, south of Adwa, north of Hagir Salam, within the vicinity of Abiyadi, and other areas as well. And again, uh, that is because of the movement of Tigrayan Defense Forces in mass into the Tenbian region and other areas of these mountainous defensive redoubts that the Tigrayan Defense Forces will utilize to continue uh, its campaign against the uh, despotic regime of Eatria and the B loyalist formations. So again, we'll have more uh, videos very, very soon as we continue to cover, track what is happening on the ground. Again, thank you for joining us. More to come very, very soon. Have a good day.